Hey everyone, welcome to today's quick tips video. Today I will be talking through how you could use the Google Sheets plugin for Adobe XD. So before we get started, just a reminder, please go ahead and ensure you click on the subscribe button and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. I have a lot of quick tips videos and I bring out these videos on a regular basis. I also have an online course, so go ahead and check it out as well. Okay, so let's have a look in here. What is Google Sheets? Okay, um, not what is Google Sheets, what is the plugin? So in a nutshell, the Google Sheets plugin is for Adobe XD uh, to enable the designers within XD to enrich their designs with real content and data from Google Sheets. Okay, so pretty much you're getting data from Google Sheets. So this allows collab collaboration with other team members to create dynamic designs right from XD. So let's go ahead and jump into XD and I'll show you how we can get started. Okay, so um, before we look at the layout, let's just have a look at how we can go ahead and um, download third party plugins in Adobe XD. So at the bottom left hand side, um, so normally you might have your uh, layers panel open for instance, okay? What you can do is go ahead and just toggle to the last one. The last one in here is uh, plugins, okay? Otherwise you can access that up the top in here in the menu bar. Go ahead and click on the plus button. This will open up a new dialog box. You can click on browse and you can go ahead and browse all the plugins that are available within XD. You can go ahead and search for the Google Sheets one if you um, like what you see in today's video. So I've gone ahead and I've already downloaded Google Sheets in here. So I'll show you shortly what we can do with bringing in data from Google Sheets. So first thing we'll do is have a look in Google, um, XC. Uh, so inside of XC in here, so I have created um, a fictitious company. <laughs> I am really into my health and fitness. So maybe, who knows, one day, maybe I'll release a fitness app. So what I've done in here is I've just gone ahead and just started creating a layout. Okay, so we have a placeholder for an image uh, type. So the type of exercise, whether it's cardio or whether it's strength training, um, the type of exercise. There's a duration down here and also a star rating. Okay, so as you can see, a typical um, layout. So let's say, for instance, I'm the designer. Okay, so I'm creating the design and then I have someone else in the team. Um, who has to gather all the data with images and text, etc. Okay, so uh, hence why um, I'll show you how cool this integration is. So uh, let's go ahead and just finish off this, this design in here. Um, you may typically just do a uh, copy and paste or using the Alt key on your um, keyboard shortcut on your keyboard. Otherwise, with Adobe XD, if you don't know already, on the right hand side we have something called Repeat Grid. I love this. Uh, tap on it, notice how the blue handles turn green, okay, and you have handle bars. And what you can do is you can simply click and drag. When you click and drag, that basically just duplicates um, the same design, okay. So I'll go ahead and just make it so we have four in total. What I can do is I can hover my cursor and go ahead and um, ensure that my padding, okay, so notice if I click and drag, it will change the padding for um, so it's the same across the board, okay? So super easy, that is your um, repeat grid. Okay, so as I've mentioned, um, I have this layout in here, and now I'm ready to bring in the data from Google Sheets, okay? So as I've mentioned, perhaps you have a different team that uh, is looking after your Google Sheets, okay? So let me show you. So in Google Sheets in here, if you're collaborating, you just need someone to go ahead and just have the exact same fields that you have. So notice how there's a field for exercise, type, time, rating, and there's also um, a field for image. I'll talk about that shortly. So in here, exercise, okay? So go ahead and type in um, the type of exercise, okay? For this particular column. Go ahead and uh, fill out the type, the duration, the rating. Okay, so let's talk about images in here. Basically, all you need to do in the Google Sheets uh, part is you just basically need to go ahead and cut and paste um, the URL in here. Okay, so let me just show you. Okay, so I will go ahead and tap in here. Okay, so this URL, the images I have used in today's video are from Adobe Stock, so notice how they are still watermarked. Okay. For those of you that have um, 
not use Adobe Stock, I'd encourage you to take a look, okay? Uh, it's stock.adobe.com. What you can do is go ahead and filter that, whether you just want to do a generic search. Otherwise, you can find really high quality images, videos, you know, like your motion graphics templates, you know, those fancy titles that fly in and out of screens for movies and videos. Um, you can go ahead and find templates, whether you're designing like a newsletter, for instance, there's 3D in there, there's premium and editorial, so heaps in here. I've gone ahead and clicked on images and notice how I've searched for yoga and notice how there's almost like a million that has come up, okay? So you can see they're really nice, um, high quality images. You can go ahead and license them if you wish in here, okay? Um, but in today's video, I haven't licensed them. So um, basically all you need to do is just uh, have all your information in here, okay? Click on the share button, okay? So whoever um, needs to send you that link can do that. Okay, um, and when they get the link, just simply click on copy link. Okay, so now you have all your data. Now what you will do is you will hop back to XD. Now, remember how when you um, select, okay, you just still have your everything is selected uh, by default because you are still using repeat grid. If you're not, that's fine as well. Just go ahead and select um, all to your fields in here, okay? So now what you will need to do is hop over to your plugins, look for your Google Sheets in here, toggle that open, and notice how you have something called Paste Public Link. I'll go ahead and tap on that once. This brings up the dialog box and it will ask you to paste the URL, which I'm going to do so. And I will simply click on continue. When you go ahead and tap on continue, notice how this will take you to this screen where um, this plugin will just ensure that you have mapped the XD elements to the content correctly. So be sure uh, to go ahead and just match the fields. Okay, so notice how in XD, um, these are the names of your layers. Okay, so you know how we had like obviously a text layer for um, exercise and type and then you have um, a image for the rectangle placeholder. And then in the Google Sheet, remember how I showed you, you also had those uh, those uh, headings as well, okay? So you had those fields. So go ahead and match them up. Um, you can ignore anything else. So these are obviously the infographics um, in my XC. So just go ahead and choose no mapping, okay? But um, it's gone ahead and just done that automatically for you, okay? So it uses our AI engine, so we've called that Adobe Sensei in case you uh, haven't heard of that before, but um, we have an amazing AI engine at the back who does all the legwork and all the machine learning and thinking for you. So I'll go ahead and click on apply, okay, and as simple as that, it will bring in all the data, okay. So notice how how you can see um, all the images have come in quite nicely. It's gone ahead and adjusted all the fields with appropriate names. So there's yoga, the type of exercise is cardio, and then there's strength of core. Okay. Um, there's a star rating in here. There's a duration. Okay. So notice how down here, perhaps the image didn't uh, come in um, like it's meant to, so double tap, okay, and notice in here you have the option to go ahead and grab the content and just readjust that if it needs a little human help in here, okay. Uh, but notice how powerful it is, okay, so it's great in collaborating. You can have a different team member who doesn't use XD, but they purely um, are assigned to the job to go ahead and bring in all the correct images. Perhaps they need to approve the images, and perhaps you have a copywriter ensuring that all the spelling is correct or just someone who's checking that um, all the information is correct, okay. So all they need is Google Sheets. How awesome is that? So let me go ahead and show you just um, another example in here, okay, so similar. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a different artboard, okay, so let's say I want to create this um, web page for yoga, okay, like a yoga landing page. So uh, I'll repeat the same process, tap on that, repeat grid, again, you can see how super cool it is, I'll go ahead and make it 3 by 3 in here. Okay, you want to ensure that the padding is the same across the board, click and drag and notice how um, the power of AI, um, I love it. Okay, so it's gone ahead and make sure that you have the same consistency um, in all the columns and rows. Okay, so same thing again, uh, go ahead back into Chrome. Okay, so I have this other one in here. I'll just tap out, okay, so I'll show you, so the different types of yoga exercises, so same thing, you just have to type in here, okay, um, 
you can also, whoever is in charge of the Google Sheets, if they want to change the image, okay, basically you can they can change this info anytime they wish okay so get them to do that okay you can see same concept you have all the fields filled out okay so all nine different types of yoga um duration and then all the images in here links okay same thing click on share up the top okay just toggle over to get this public link and click on copy and now we move back into XD, okay, same thing again, ensure you select it, okay, because they're still in the grid, I don't need to do anything, otherwise, if you ungroup the grid, it's fine, just select um, all the fields, okay, uh, and then over at the left-hand side, Google Sheets, same thing, paste public link, go ahead and paste the public link, and click on continue. Go ahead and just double check that the mapping is correct, okay, and once you're happy with that, tap on apply. Okay, so just like that, you can see how amazing this plugin is. I love it. Okay, so super cool. You can think of various ways in which this could improve your workflow, perhaps in your team. Uh, super easy. Okay, so you can see in here, it's brought in all the text, images, etc. Okay, so as I've mentioned, okay, so if you go back to the Google Sheets, at any point in time, you can actually go ahead and change any of these. Okay, so if someone made a spelling mistake, they can go ahead and change this. Or if you wanted to, you can, let's say you wanted to create a landing page for perhaps hit exercises, so like, you know, high intensity interval training, uh, go ahead and uh, duplicate the sheet, drop in all the images, same thing, okay, just, just get someone to do this, or perhaps you want to do it yourself, it just improves the efficiency of your workflow. Same thing, come in here, go ahead, uh, you can go ahead and paste public link. Notice how in this Google Sheets plugin, you have a refresh content, okay? So as I mentioned, if someone wants to switch out any photos, okay, they can do that in the Google Sheets, okay? And then you can go ahead and click on refresh content. It will go ahead and refresh it in here. So that's it for today's uh, quick tips with Adobe XD. Go ahead and check out the plugins. There's lots of amazing ones uh, you can find in there and you can see how they could really improve your workflow, okay? So before I go, as I mentioned, please, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.